Hey there, it's Pete C for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Vintage Vault 4 by UVI. Right from day one, the Vintage Vault series has always represented some of the best vintage synths money can buy. Over the years, more instruments have been added, and with Vintage Vault 4, there are now a total of 36 instruments included. Of the new eight instruments, there are three completely brand new synths, namely Hybrid 6000, Bitzone, and Prime 8 Plus. The collection now stands at a mammoth 281 gigabytes with 14,407 presets and 833,947 samples. That is a lot of vintage synth, so to ensure this review doesn't tread old ground, it will focus on what is new, yet talk about instruments from previous versions too, as there are some absolute gems in this collection. This really is the ultimate collection of vintage synths and it doesn't look like UVI are going to stop here. Vintage Vault 4 downloads at 281 gigabytes and all samples are recorded at 82.2 kilohertz and playback at 44.1 kilohertz. There are 36 vintage synths and over 14,000 presets. Vintage Vault 4 works in both the free UVI workstation and Falcon and normally it sells for 599 euros, yet there are various upgrade paths available depending on what you may already own. I've loaded up the first hybrid 6000 synth, which is one of the three brand new synths, and I'm using Falcon. It's really important to convey that you can use Falcon to further manipulate the sounds if you want to as well. So it's really, really powerful. And obviously this works in the free UVI workstation. Now on the right hand side, you can see this is everything I own by UVI, uh, but there are 36 products from the Vintage Vault. And like I say, the Hybrid 6000 is the first of the three new ones. The other two are Bitzone and Prime 8 Plus. So we will be looking at those. Now, Everything is organized into folders. So if I just open Atlas, which is the first patch I played. So you can see Hybrid 6000 is essentially rhythm, bass, melody, and three synth parts. And you can edit all of these. So let's just open another one. And they're all categorized. So we have Neo, uh, Neo Industrial, uh, which is where we're at first. So I'll go for Goosebumps. Okay. So you can hear these are kind of like really full arrangements. You can turn off or mute any sections, let's say we want to get rid of the rhythm. Take the bass out. So you can keep just the parts that you want to use. So I'm just gonna bring those back. And then of course you can edit uh, what they will do. So let's say I want to edit the bass. You can change the bass sound. Um, so presets or just change the waveform and then you can change, uh, yeah, so the preset there, and loads of different things you can do with it, uh, EQ, drive, phaser, etc. cetera, uh, plenty to work through, and there is also an arpeggiator. So, taking the bass arpeggio out, in fact, let's just solo that. And you can do that for everything. So just click the edit, so you can edit the melody, uh, the synths, etc. So you're not just sort of stuck playing uh, what's sort of given to you in the preset, um, but the presets are absolutely excellent. So let's just load one more. So Seesaw. Really cool sweeping lo fi effect is done using the mod wheel. So, very handy effect to have. I 
use that effect quite a lot in uh, my electronics, especially synthwave music. And it's just nice and easy not to have to automate anything third party and just do it. Do it in the instrument. Then it brings me to the synthwave. Now, this arguably is one of my most favorite folders in the whole Vintage Vault collection. So these full arrangements, when you're creating sort of songs or backings or just sort of different parts, they're, they're just great out of the box. And they sound brilliant. And one of the themes that will go through this review is there are so many different presets. Obviously, playing everything is virtually impossible. Um, you need to spend months and months and months going through absolutely everything. make these really really lightning quick arrangements so we get the idea and that is the synthwave folder let's just go modern disco euphoria. And uh, let's go ambient, let's go something towards the, the bottom, take some rest. So the sampling is absolutely stunning and everything is just sort of built for you. Uh, let's go vibe. <laughs> Ace. 
Uh, let's go slow beats. through a few more um so in techno house just the quality of those drum samples are awesome yeah it sounds cool um and it like i say it's great you can just drop bits out you need to uh future funk and some experimental. Obviously, you have you can like access the single sounds if you want to. So um, we got an arpeggio. So you can see here it's just the melody since uh, all stacked together. Do Hogwarts bass. Sorry, bells. some breasts yeah sounds cool so these are all like stack sounds and um, some pad and show a pluck Just some synth. So they're all stacked, and if you want just the single sounds on their own, just open this folder. And there's only four instruments, but once you get in there, so let's just take uh, melody for example. Um, the arpeggiator is already on. But uh, you can turn that on, uh, sorry, off, and just go for different sounds you might want to use. So, um, there we go. Um, and there's absolutely loads, absolutely loads going on, uh, which is really, really cool. So these are a little bit quieter. Um, just need to bring them up. And you could do that for all different types. Whoops. So you get the idea and the other thing you can do is MIDI drop um, when you see this icon and MIDI drop it into your DAW so you can uh, play the MIDI change things as you need them and um, put them on different instruments if you really want to but yeah um, 
this is very, really cool stuff. Lovely. And that really is um, Hybrid 6000. Plenty to work with and just sort of go through and explore. And I think it's a 79 euro instrument as it stands, um, which is insane value for money. Uh, especially when you just... But it's getting full arrangements like that just with one button. It's nice and straightforward, isn't it? So yeah, great start. And then we have Bitzone. Now Bitzone is an 80s Italian synth. Um, always good to start off with the sort of basics just to get an idea. Just what it sounds like. So you get the overall feel of the instrument and then you just start playing through the police, uh, presets. I mean, come on, that, that's awesome. Uh, especially like all, all this stereo effects, etc., going on. Um, just sounds brilliant. And these are just the arpeggios. Sorry, my sleeve just got caught there. So obviously if you're holding down a chord, um, it will follow the tonality. So that's cool. And um, animated chord step. Yeah, sounds brilliant. So it's not only just for if you're really into vintage synths, it's um, very, very cinematic uh, if you need it to be as well. And you can imagine this in definitely like a sci-fi soundtrack. Or if you want to be a little bit out of the box and do something different, um, yeah, sounds awesome. The sounds are really inspiring, um, and that's you know the the main thing really. Um, it just like it's it's technology we wouldn't access like these sounds unless you're really into buying uh, the vintage hardware. So yeah, it's absolutely brilliant just having all this at your fingertips. <laughs> cool and uh, let's go uh, for single sounds <laughs> Sounds 
cool. And you get lost just playing all these different sounds. And as you can see, look at the instrument. Um, again, part of the fun is just going through and seeing what you can do and play around with it all. Um, so I go through different pages, so you've got the main. It's also a dual layer instrument and you can change uh, the sounds. Okay, and um, play around the amplitude and the filter. Uh, and your SDR is there, so I'll see you on a low pass at the moment. And then just play around and see see what you want to change. And um, got a step modulator and different built-in effects. That's very cool. Uh, yeah, and then. Turn the arpeggio right wrong. So yeah, now I'm very conscious that this review is already 20 minutes in and I've only looked at two since. Um, so you get the idea. I mean, these sound absolutely fantastic. Do one more from the keys. So really is it's a whole world of just just exploring and playing through the different sounds. So so much to see there. Um so bit zone, yeah, really, really cool. And then we have Prime 8 Plus. Now, Prime 8 Plus is um, a vintage drum machine. So you've got the single instruments towards the left and then you've got your rhythms on the yellow keys. Now, for, for me, so I do make a lot of music very, very quickly, um, having just loops that you can build up and pre-built are really, really useful. And these are the crushed ones, but it's very, very analog. I love how everything is also pre-mixed, so it takes all the guesswork out of, uh, you know, getting that sort of wide sound. It sounds brill. Um, Lo-fi. I've got some processed uh, drums. Some electro funk. Uh, 
and then some ambient again another favorite of mine some 808 classics absolutely brilliant and uh, utility So it's really cool just have like some fills or separate parts. Yes, yeah, so that's very cool. Uh, yeah, so again, that's quite a quick Wiz3 Prime 8. Now, just using those three instruments, you could create albums upon albums of uh, electronic music, different genres. Um, so the, the three unreleased... Um, instruments are really really impressive so yeah um, now there are five others uh, which have been released already um, I did actually buy them on release before Vintage Vault 4 came out or the majority of them um, Emulation 2 now that is built up from um, Emulation 1 um, I did have Vintage Vault 1 and I remember Emulation 1 being in there and it's just become one synth um, has become three synths now. And for me, it's like that quintessential sort of vintage 80s sound. So that's like the bells. Um, just get a guitar going. pretty cool um so again all these uh different categories now this is like the very first one and then it grew into emulation 2 um eight is iconic love that glide um, and there's again so many just so many presets to work through um, so that's emulation 2 and that's just the iconic section so you can see this is absolutely huge uh, I always like the the vocals very old school choir sounds was good fun and then you had uh, emulation 3 so again it's just more of the same however uh, in the multis if you want to go pop new wave for example So as you can hear, there are drums as well, and I will very quickly look at that. Um, just do one more, Cloud View. So 
Stars Ace. So if you go to the top, you've got uh, Dremulation and again, loads of different uh, styles. So uh, just go for the first one. And just again, explore. And always a stack of controls on every single instrument. So Emulation 2, um, it's a huge instrument. It's really, really good fun. And it is one of my favorites of the collection. Now, Program 24, um, when I read about this, I was just, I didn't really know what to expect because it's based on sort of vintage 80s Italian disco. Um, bit of a, a rompler, as it were. And again... Again, it sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I didn't doubt it would, but I didn't really know what to expect, like I say. So, very, very cool. And again, you can mix different instruments. Um, you can edit the instruments like you did on the uh, uh, Hybrid 6000. Just double checking. I was going to say Hyper 6000. I don't know why. And uh, yeah, um, just very, very good fun. And again, because it's in the UVI uh, infrastructure, everything loads so quickly. And the memory footprints of all these are really small. 29.86 um, me uh, megabytes. Absolutely tiny. So that's cool. And you can see the CPU usage is uh, creeping up. I do have a powerful CPU, um, but it's nothing I'd be concerned about as I'd use one of these instruments as a bass, like a bassist for my track, and then um, start using smaller parts. So uh, yeah, Roots Italian Disco, it's, yeah, it's just uh, full of character, shall we say. Some slow beats. Uh, yeah, so we get the idea. Um, and then you have, once again, single instruments, which is really cool. Um, So you're not just stuck uh, playing exactly uh, the sound, uh, the accompaniment sounds. Sorry, uh, not the accompaniment sounds, everything being put together. That's a lot to take in. So that's program 24. Um, yes, the next one's PX Memories. So, um, let's open some bells. This is an L-A-M-M or LAM um, mod analog synth. Um, and I love analog. Absolute sucker for those kind of sounds. Uh, ombre. Master Robot. And the level of clarity is, uh, yeah, just really, really cool. Yeah, 
So you can spend ages on PX Memories, and then Sunbox um, is a hybrid synth. And again, I remember day of release, I picked this one up. Uh, absolutely love it. And I found this to be really, really inspiring. And probably, if we're talking about cinematic music, the most cinematic synth out the bunch. Um, just out the box, but obviously the other ones you can really uh, do some amazing sound design on. Um, within Falcon or third-party uh, plugins. Um, but yeah, they just sound... It just all sounds really uh, sort of soundtrack to me. Let's do one more. It's just delightful, really. Um, I'll go some effects because I haven't played a huge amount of effects. <laughs> Bit of mod will action there. Uh, and then just some pads. Haven't seemed to played uh, play a huge amount of pads as well. There we go, Jean Michel Jean. Sumptuous is the word I'm going to use there. And finally, with Super 7, which is um, an 80s analogue classic, uh, also with a drum machine. And I do go straight for the synth wave. Let's do some electronic pop. I just think of the time you'll save, um, not having to arrange this yourself. I know there's probably a lot of purists when it comes to composing, but I love tools like this, um, which sound amazing. And uh, yeah, they're just that, they're composing tools.
So very, very 80s. Um, let's go with some Neon Lovers. <laughs> Getting all that just from two keys. Yeah, incredibly inspiring. Um, and again, you can edit change do what you need to so you're not stuck with um just the presets ambient cloud just love the ambient sounds from uvi just generally yeah i misjudged that one there go one more peace of mind And then, of course, you have the single instruments in exactly the same way um, the other synths you've seen do as well. Uh, so... I'm sort of messing around there, but you, you can just load in any instruments you want to from the Super 7 sound set. So, that covers the eight instruments. I know it's a a quick whistle stop tour um, but it's important to just hear what they sound like and obviously the functionality you can jump in and play around with um, and you could spend hours just on one synth. I did say I was going to mention a couple of my personal favourites from the collection. Uh, the Beast just happens to be right in front of me and I absolutely love uh, The Beast. <laughs> It's just got some amazing character to it. And then it's got mod wheel activity. Uh, some very odd things there. Uh, I say odd things, odd playing. Let's go bring up the level. Uh, yeah, so uh, the Beast, very, very cool. It's the orchestral stuff that I absolutely love. Really cool for soundtrack. Yeah, so the Beast, um, really, really cool. And then going right the way up, Dark Light, so there is Dark Light 2. Again. I'm playing some very random stuff. Um, this is very, very 80s. Um, let's get look into the keyboards.
so it's a little bit quiet. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, absolute classic. If you really like uh, your eighties sounds, uh, it's really really cool. And whoops, where are we? Let's go bring that down a little bit. Uh, so that's some really cool uh, drums as well. And if you need more drums, Beatbox Anthology 2 is really cool. That's got bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, as it's gone through and then finally um i'm an absolute sucker as well for mellows just think they sound ace comes with inbuilt noise which is exactly what you want And once you start playing through the mellow, you'll recognise a lot of these sounds from uh, very popular music, shall we say. Uh, let's do one more. And there we go. Um, so, yeah, you could spend hours and hours and hours. This review could easily be um, five hours long if I was really jumping into depth uh, with all these different synths. So, yeah, uh, a lot of stuff I've not touched on. There's plenty of information. Um, the UVR website has stacks of information on every single synth, and there's obviously videos. And over the years, it's really, really built up to a massive archive. So if there's any particular synth you're interested in learning a bit more about, um, you can just go for it. So let's go do one of the uh, UVX Tempes. <laughs> yeah so there are still 25 instruments or so that i've not really touched on at all and that is how big this uh collection is so my final thoughts about the uvi vintage vault 4 if you like vintage synths it's an absolute no-brainer it is a huge collection 599 euros just you know, straight away out of the box. When you think about what you're getting for that, um, it's incredible value. Uh, it does, you know, feel like it's quite a lot of money and also quite a lot of uh, hard drive space, but believe me, it's absolutely worth it. I think you save over 3,000 euros if you buy it as a collection, as opposed to everything separately, um, which is a huge saving. And it will cover every single vintage synth need you have so is this just for vintage synth aficionados as it were absolutely not if you are a media composer and you need access to these sounds in fact you could spend ages searching for sort of vintage emulation and sort of just different sounds and synths and um, you can have everything in one place and by doing a bit of research it will direct you to exactly the sounds you want as opposed to just sort of idly flicking through each different synth, which uh, which is what I used to do when it's Vintage Vault 1. So the information's there for you. And I think if you're a media composer, um, not just, you know, synth wave, uh, doing soundtrack or doing pop music or doing vintage or 80s music, but if you are a cinematic composer, this is a, an absolutely brilliant collection to help you. And then finally, would I recommend this collection? Um, it's a wholehearted yes. Um, UVI are really top of the game when it comes to synth recreation and sampling. Um, 
and they do all these instruments a really good job and they have the uncanny knack of finding like really rare bizarre instruments to sample and um you know things you won't really think about well i think since i used to just think like you know a core gen one um or a jupiter but now it's uh yeah there's so much going on and it, it's just a really exciting world if you're not just into synths, like I say, I still really do recommend it. Um, but really, for a collection this fast, it, it'd be good to have uh, an interest um, in synthesizers. So, yeah, UVI, they've absolutely smashed it. Uh, the collection keeps getting better and better and better. You can see there's absolutely zero issues running in Falcon. Um, the workstation, the UVI workstation, it is exactly the same as well. Um, there are no performance issues. It's got a low footprint. Uh, it's not going to take it loads of memory. Uh, yeah, there is some CPU usage, but you've got to think exactly what's going on and how you'd use it. It's not high at all. Um, I've stacked loads of Falcons and different synths on top, and it's been absolutely fine. Uh, so yeah, absolutely no problems. And that was on a uh, not as good processor as I do run now. So yeah, um, really, it's, it's just a big thumbs up. Uh, one of the best collections to come out in recent years. And all that leads me to say is thank you so much for checking out this review of the UVI Vintage Vault 4. I really hope you enjoyed what you saw, what you heard. Um, I can't recommend this one enough. It is absolutely brilliant to be fair. And if you like what you saw, feel free to leave a like on the video, uh, drop a comment on the video. What do you like about the instruments? What would you use them for? Um, is there anything like unexpected you saw maybe? And if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos on YouTube, and of course, pop over to samplelibreview.com to check out everything that is going on in the world of virtual instruments. Until next time, have a great day and take care.